This video will cover how to update ODPC INI in a hosted IDQ server using our self-service tool. For the agenda, we will cover prerequisites to use the utility, give a brief overview of ODBC INI, provide the use case, steps to configure, and give a demo. In order to use the self-service utility, you must be an HMDM customer. If you are hosting IDQ on-premise, then this video would not apply to you. And you should also have access to the S3 bucket for the given hosted environment. You must also have the administrator password used to log in to the IDQ admin console. The self-service tool will only work for single node environments. For production, which has two nodes, you will need to file a case with the CRE team. The ODBC INI file is read whenever you make an ODBC type connection. One common use case is when connecting to Microsoft SQL Server. If the SQL Server database requires a secure connection, then you must use a DSN in ODBC INI. And each entry in ODBC INI is called a DSN. And the DSN entry name is entered on the connection properties page in the IDQ admin console. You can find more information on this in our administrator guide. For the use case, customers have access to SFTP into servers for the dev environments. However, this same access is not given for pre-prod. So this self-service tool is meant to fill the gap and allow you to update ODBC INI as needed without filing a case. What the tool does is copies your custom DSN entries over into ODBC INI, and this tool can be used to both add and remove the custom entries. For any multi-node environment, as mentioned earlier, you need to file a case. The first step is to create a file named myodbc.ini and it should only contain your custom DSN entries, so it will not look exactly like the odbc.ini file itself. And to get started with creating your custom DSN entries, you can download ODBC INI from the dev server, and in that file you will see templates that can be used to create a DSN for the given server type. And here is one example I made of a Microsoft SQL Server DSN. And the required parts for this are the driver and the file path should be valid in your ODBC INI file. And also the database name, enable coded identifiers. Your host name is the either an IP or the domain name for the database server and your port. There are many other options, and you can refer to ODBC INI to see all of them. And now that I created my DSN entry, here is a screenshot of the IDQ admin console connection properties page, and I have a Microsoft SQL Server type connection. This is my connection name, and under data access properties, I have set use DSN to true, and then I have my DSN entry name here. And what it says is each time I am reading or writing data to this connection, I want to, yes, read ODBC INI and refer to this DSN entry to do that. And after that, you create one other file called execcommands.txt. It should look exactly as I have here in lowercase other than your password. 
In case you have a capital letter, that would obviously remain the same. And at this point, you can connect to your S3 bucket and navigate to this path. Be sure that you go to the customer directory and place your odbc.ini file here. Next, you can upload your exccommands.txt file in the same directory. This will trigger the tool to run within five minutes. After five minutes has passed, you can refresh the directory and you should see a process status appended here along with the myodbc.ini file being removed. And then each time you need to update odbc.ini, you can complete that same process, which will work if you remove entries as well. If, for example, you have uploaded your files and five minutes has passed and you still do not see any change, you can check that you have uploaded them to the customer directory and not the current directory. You can also check that you have entered the right password Make sure that you have entered everything other than the password in lowercase. There is also a readme file in the customer folder that you can refer to. It gives all of the steps discussed here and has some additional troubleshooting tips. You can also file a case with the CRE team if you are stuck. And for the demo, I have connected to my S3 bucket and navigated to the customer directory and already uploaded my odbc.ini file. And I have also uploaded the exec commands file just now. So now we will wait five minutes for the status to update. And now that five minutes has passed, I refreshed the customer directory and see the process status is appended here. In summary, we discussed prerequisites to use the utility, gave a brief overview of ODBC INI and the use case for the self-service tool, the steps to configure, and gave a demo. You can also get more information in our HMDM AWS environment guide and this is a document shared with the primary contact on your account. You can also see the administrator guide for information on creating connections.